In the previous video, we made several miter cuts so that the tubes would fit tightly against the head tube, the C tube, and the bottom bracket. But we're not quite done. We have a few more miters that need to be made between the top tube and the down tube, the C tube and the down tube, and finally between the bridges and the inside surfaces of the stays. I'll start at the bottom area because I already have a surface for the seat tube. Click on that surface, cut with surface, select the down tube, and that is neatly cut now. If I go up to the head tube area, I want to make a cut in the down tube to fit up against the top tube which means that I need to offset the outside surface of the top tube. I have three separate surfaces that actually intersect the top tube. This one, this one, and this one. I'm picking them all at the same time so they are considered to be a single surface body. I will now use that surface body to cut the down tube. It's already popped as a default into the parameters box. Select the down tube. And here we have a nice neat miter cut of the down tube. Moving on to the bridges, we need to offset the surfaces of the stays. Notice that I'm doing these one at a time. Otherwise, they will be considered to be part of the same surface body, which is what we do not want to have happen. I can now cut the upper bridge, selecting this surface, cut with surface, select the bridge, and that's been trimmed. Going to the bottom, I'll select this surface, cut with surface, and sometimes it's not totally obvious which way the arrow should be pointing. I'll demonstrate what happens if I point it the wrong way, and we see that we've cut away the entire bridge and left the piece in extending inside the stay. If this happens to you simply edit the feature, flip the arrow direction, and now the cut is in the, going in the right direction. Now in the case of the bridges we know that later on a seat stay and the chain stay need to be mirrored to the other side of the bicycle. This means that these will have to have cuts on the other side that will mate up with those mirrored stays we can take the cuts we already did and just simply mirror them to the other side. I'll demonstrate that with the bottom stay. Select this cut, mirror, use the front plane as the mirror. And we see that miter cut that was made here has been mirrored over to this side. You'll notice that when you make these various cuts, the surfaces themselves never are cut. For example, here is a C-tube still passing through the bottom bracket. This is because the cut command never cuts surfaces, only solid bodies. So you might panic and think that you somehow have failed to cut a solid body properly, and in fact what you are seeing is just the leftover surface body. This is why I changed the colors of the surfaces in order to reassure me that these are surfaces that are left over and not solid bodies. Now I'll just isolate a few of these bodies to show what they look like with their miter cuts. Here's the cut on the end of the chain stay. Here's what the cut looks like on the end of the top tube. In the end, I recommend also deleting these surfaces 